cows come home today, so dad's got his horse. I got mine. He's gonna take that section. I'm gonna take that section. And we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle with mom and head that way. Halloween 2024 and I'm on top of grandpa's old horse 10 years after his passing. Headed out to go find some cows and bring them home. Dad's over there headed that way. We're gonna meet somewhere in the middle. I just love this big open country like this. I like riding in the timber too, but when you're looking for cows, it's kind of a challenge. I just about bet money. I'm riding this southwest section, one mile square, and I'll bet you there's nothing in here. Kalen is on his pony riding a mile to the north there. And that should be a two mile distance from fence line to fence line. And he's gonna make a sweep on that side of it. It's really easy to not be able to find stuff in here. There's enough relief. It doesn't look like it from a distance, but there's there's relief in this ground to where you can lose a bunch of uh, pears pretty danged easily. You just ride past them, not see them. So you gotta at least make a sweep. My money today is that there's nothing in this section. Kalen will have nothing in his section. And it'll all be in that third section that we've got it's over there on the northeast side on that uh, secondary spring where we brought them in last spring. And they're probably hold up in the water there. Those cows are anxious to come home and get these kids off of them. We'll see. Coming up on the end of our journey out here before we start sweeping to the north. You can kind of see it. Beautiful mountains up there. Beautiful crazies just in front of us. The belts over there. And the beautiful big snowy mountains right there. Good day. A little chilly, a little breezy, but good day. Okay, we're getting some of this country swept out. Kind of funny, the hunting season is on. I believe a big game opened this last weekend, but five, six days ago. Here ahead of me, you can see it in this open here. I got some mule deer that are out here trying to hide from all the timber crawlers. Now they're adjusting well, trying to keep themselves alive, live for another year. Looks like maybe got a couple of does and fawns there. I saw a buck, looked like the way he was moving, bouncing off to the west a little earlier. That's when I first saw something out there. And you can see them out there. We'll just give it a stop here and take a peek at them. They're looking at us going, what in the world? This ain't right. They don't look normal. Yeah, it's not normal. So, I'm about two thirds of the way through this sweep on this section, and I've yet to see a cow or any fresh cow sign. But I got something I just ran across here. I need to investigate a little bit. And this is like a skull. Got some bones, something died here. Hope we're not missing one. Looks like it's pretty well cleaned up. see a lot see some hair something small those aren't that bigger ribs so we might be missing a calf if we are this is likely where it's at I don't see an ear tag or see some coyote crap everywhere that vertebrae is kind of small ribs are small I've got red hair so we're probably lost one out here that we haven't seen seen yet. It's uh, part of a hoof and shoulder blade. Yeah, this is, skull's not real big, so that's a, probably a really nice yearling. Yep, you know, we'll just have to get a count. I turn north now. Gonna kind of slip in on some of that country that Kalen rode around on his way out on his loop and push down towards the 
water hole. See if anybody's down there. And my guess is they're not. I can see him way over in the distance there. So he made that outside perimeter and I'll kind of cut back into the spot where he had to ride around. Let's see if we can back over here. Lisa's over there with the side by side of near the gate. She's headed down to the water hole and meet us there and then we'll work on over towards that secondary spring where I think they're all sitting at. See Kaelin coming, working from the north down here to this little draw. It's got some live water in it. Really good watering spot. It's good pasture in here. And uh, he looks like he's got no cow with him as e it either or as well. So they're all congregated in this third section. It's a little closer to home. So we'll get up here. We'll form another plan, which isn't much, but just go pick them up down there on that spring with Lisa and have her shaking a bucket ahead of us, cheating every chance we get. And then uh, we'll just follow up and get them home. And gosh, I'll bet you we're not there in another hour. See what he has to say here. What's the word? Empty. <laughs> Kalen's going to take a little bit of a chunk of this north side of this pasture while I kind of hit the middle of it here. As we were coming up the county road, you can kind of see up into the from the south side up towards the middle. I sure didn't see anything, didn't notice anything, so we'll see what happens. Uh, on this next round, but I'm betting they're all down here waiting to go home. Oh, lucky, really? He's been with you all summer. You separate for an hour, and now you got anxiety. Okay, teach your own and their neuroses. And she's out of the wind, has a little bit of a heater, so this is her favorite way of riding. She is. A fair weather girl but the truth is to be told when it's really crappy and nasty and cold she's out there with us too after scrubbing two and a half sections we finally see cows they're hard to see but they're out there we're getting closer to those cows dad is in that direction probably five six hundred yards we're gonna close in on this group and bring them home there's dad, he just popped up over the horizon. And it's almost like they know. Some of those girls are already starting to head the right direction. So we're gonna see how this turns out. It looks like Kaelin's coming up dry again. And I have till we got over to here, and kind of where I suspected most of them would be. Looks like Lisa's got a few over there. And I'm gonna have to run over there and help her bring that in. But some of them are headed the right direction, so these girls know this time of year. They're like, okay, I see a couple of horses. It is time to go in and get some free food, get rid of these brats that are sucking the life out of me, literally, and hunker down for the winter. All to start it all over again in the spring. We just came out of the creek bottom, and as I said, it's like they know they're moving in the right direction. Some of the calves are a little confused. They're not sure what's going on, but goodness gracious, these mama cows know what's going on. They're headed into home. They're gonna join the rest of the herd in a few minutes. Here we go. Come on, kiddo. a boy. Come on, head in. There you go. Come on. Triple Uno there. It's like Triple Uno 111. This mama cow's not doing so bad. Come on, mama. Atta girl. Take him with you. There you go. Good kids. Let's head home. Time for... Time for you guys to get rid of these calves. Time for some feeding. Yeah. Time for hay. Yep. 
Come on, 130. His brother just went to the butcher the other day. So he might be another contender. Come on. Yeah, Mama, Mama 130. She's been producing some pretty good steers here. All right, now we gotta come pick up the straggler here. Again, confusion. Not sure what's going on. Good boy, Bet. Good boy. Yeah. Come on. Add a kid. It's always a couple that just don't want to go. Like this one right here. This mama right here. Come on, mama. We have the herd consolidated, and now we have them lined out with the cookie truck, and we're headed home. Through the gate we have gone, and onto greener grass that's really not so green. All little buggers over here trying to pop through. All right. Hey, do you want me to shut the gate or just leave it? All right. Just gotta start pushing them down the road. We got them all lined up. Now we're slowly headed home. They're in a hurry though. They really want to get to that new grass. We got across the road, <laughs> back there. And now we're almost to the gate, almost done. Come on kiddos, you're almost there. Atta boys, boy and girl I guess, and kids. Look at that beautiful hash knife, yeah. Here we go, almost there kiddos, almost there. They're slowly finding their way through the gate. Mom shook the bucket a few times. Dad's gonna go around and try and push them in. Uh, good boy, Bet. Good boy. Let them in the water. We had some others that we had up in these pastures that were uh, now combined with these girls. So in order to get these in, without having them spill out on the road, we had to keep them in, uh, confined in that other pasture and and. Uh, keep the gate closed so they didn't come out here but they can still get water. So now he's opening the gate so they can get in there and get some water and we can show them where it's at. They, they usually know where it's at but I just want them to go to it. And this girl thinks that she gone. 88 gone. Gone. Get gone. There you go. No reason you can't get up there. She's been pretty valuable. We've gotten three sets of twins out of her in four years. So that ain't a bad cow to have around raising a decent calf like that. So we'll give them a week and we're going to gather them again and sort calves off and head into shipping. Sale time. We get paid once a year. <laughs>